Hello everybody, welcome to The Geek's Handbag, coming to you from somewhere in the middle of nowhere. I hope you're all keeping well. So it's that time of year again, Christmas is fast approaching, and today I'm going to be unboxing this. Oh, it's heavy. It's the Doctor Who Collector's Advent Calendar from Eagle Moss slash Hero Collector. And here it is, and it is huge! When I saw this on the website, I thought it'd be about half this size. I wasn't expecting it to be this big. Let's get the old tape measure out. It is in fact just under 15 inches or 38 centimeters if you prefer. So, Doctor Who Collector's Advent Calendar contains 24 days of high quality gifts. Lovely TARDIS box. I'll uh, take a closer look at that once I've ripped the cellophane off, but let's have a look and see what it says on the back first. Stem inside the TARDIS and find 24 days of gifts fit for a Time Lord. This collector quality, officially licensed advent calendar based on the iconic TARDIS, opens out to reveal 24 individual boxes, each containing a charming new gift based on the BBC show. Look out for Daleks, Weeping Angels, a Cyberman and the Odd Sontaran, and enjoy the variety of gifts celebrating this truly iconic show. We fit a lot in there, but then it is bigger on the inside, so that all sounds very exciting. There is actually a list of contents on the bottom of the box with pictures, so I did see a couple of the things that we get inside. I'll give you a quick peek. Ready? Whoa. But uh, I'll show you that at the end, because I really want each door to be a surprise. So, without further ado, let's rip this cellophane off and get into it. And here it is, and wow, it looks gorgeous. So I'm just going to take this off. This is the list of contents I was talking about. Oh, spoilers. So obviously this is based on the 13th Doctor TARDIS. It's the darker blue. Got the black door panel and handle on the left. And the box itself feels really strong and solid, which is good. I love the snow effect around the pool to open sign and the police box sign at the top and the windows. All just makes it feel really Christmassy. So the exterior looks great, but what is waiting for us inside? Wow, this looks lovely. Obviously it's the 13th Doctor TARDIS interior, got those big old crystal columns. Here's all the boxes with the goodies inside. Ooh, door number 19 appears to be an envelope, that's interesting. Now, I am gonna be opening every single door and showing you the entire contents of the advent calendar. So, if you've bought one or you want it kept as a surprise, I'd switch off now. But for those of us who wanna see, let's open door number one. Ooh, almost feels like a game of Jenga. I feel like everything's going to topple over. Right. So here we go. I'm quite excited. So this will be for the 1st of December. Oh, I thought it was a handkerchief for a minute, but it's just wrapped in some nice Gallifrey wrapping paper. And it is... Oh, that's really nice. It's a Dalek bottle opener. Wow, they know me so well. I do like a drink. Yeah, that's really good. It's really solid as well. Probably made from Sheffield steel or something. Now, what's this? A limerick or something? And the card says, no bottle cap can stand against this Emperor Dalek bottle opener. Famous for its iconic spherical head, the Emperor appeared in Remembrance of the Daleks 1988 and recently in the Time Lord Victorious multi-platform event. Ah, so he's not just any old Dalek bottle opener, he's an Emperor Dalek. It's really nice actually, as someone who enjoys a beer, he'll definitely come in handy. And so, on to door number two. So, door number two in a slightly different shaped box. More of that lovely wrapping paper from Gallifrey and oh wow it's a yo-yo that's so cool let's have a look what does that say Gallifrey and gravity tester ah yes or yo-yo to us mere humans yeah I really like that even though I'm absolutely useless at using a yo-yo obviously the doctor's been known to use one from time to time let's have a look what does the little card say this Gallifrey and gravity tester looks remarkably like classic earth toy the yo-yo yes it does both the 4th and 11th Doctors showed a fondness for the yo-yo and claimed to use it to test gravity, featured in, amongst others, the Ark in Space and Kill the Moon. Yeah, it's a really cool little item. I just need to brush up on my yo-yo skills now. Right, door number three. So, box number three, and it's quite light, this one. Oh, open straight away. There's that lovely wrapping. Oh, I think it could be a badge or something. Yes, oh! Robot Santa, oh that's lovely. Oh, I like the Robot Santas, I think they were really scary. Oh, that's a really nice badge, should we take it out and have a look at it? Yes, let's get that cellophane off. I love these badges, I've got quite a few of them from uh, Hero Collector. I think they're called Chibi style badges. I've got all the Doctors and a few monsters as well, but I think this is an exclusive. I don't think you can buy this separately, so it's really nice to have that, and I love the Robot Santas. Really nice badge. And the card says, from the Runaway Bride Christmas Special 2006, this robot Santa is a scavenger robo form in seasonal disguise. The 10th Doctor faced them twice, first in the Christmas Invasion 2005. This version features the restyled face for their second outing. As you all know, I do love a nice badge, so I'll be wearing him with pride. Right, looking for door number four next. It's behind the big envelope. 
So, door number four, and again, it's quite light, so let's get into it. Oh, it's very flat, whatever it is. It's, oh, it's a Cyberman head. It's like a, uh, a sew-on patch, you know, the sort of thing you'd put on your jacket or jeans. Both Bill and Ace were quite fond of a sew-on patch, weren't they? They had lots on their jackets and stuff. So, yeah, that's really nice. I like the design as well. Let's have a look, see what the card says. So, the Cybermen return to Doctor Who in the Age of Steel, the sixth episode of the second series after the 2005 reboot. This type of Cyberman, drawn by our artist John Ross in chibi style, ah, oh, there we go, was created by inventor John Lumick to upgrade humanity. Or delete it. Delete. 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 Right, door number five. God, this is a big one. So, box number five. Yeah, this is a bigger box. Uh, it's not that heavy, but it's got a little bit of weight to it. So, what we got? Oh, what on earth is this? Oh, it's a clothing or something? Or no, I think it's a giant tea towel. Oh, well. There we go. Yes, it's a giant tea towel and it's made of really thick material as well. I really like the design on it and underneath it says, take time to visit Gallifrey. I'd love to visit Gallifrey actually. The card says, the city of Arcadia is the most famous view on the planet of Gallifrey, which the Doctor and the Time Lords call home. Tourism is rare in this location outside of time, so a souvenir like this is to be treasured. I certainly will treasure it every time I clean the dishes. Number six at the bottom here. So, box number six. Let's get into this. Ooh. Again, quite a thin one. Uh, ooh. Feels quite solid. Nicely wrapped, whoever did this. Ooh, it's quite small. Oh! It's a key ring of the TARDIS key. It's very shiny. Yeah, I like that. I really like this design of the TARDIS key as well. I wish it was a, a bit more like this in the modern series, actually, rather than being just a standard Yale key. Yeah, a little bit more interesting. So the third and fourth Doctor carried around a key with this design, didn't they? Yeah, really, really nice key ring, that. See what the card says? So, there have been different versions of the TARDIS key, but this memorable one was used by the third Doctor in Planet of the Spiders 1974, the final adventure for John Pertwee. He passed the key on to the fourth Doctor, Tom Baker. Yes, and now they passed it on to me, and I shall be trying it in the lock of every police box I find. Right, next up, door number seven. Of course, this is a big box. Ooh, it's quite light, though. So, box number seven, and it's another big box. What have we got in here? Ooh, something blue, and I think it's TARDIS shaped. Yes, oh, uh, so this is a cookery item, isn't it? Yes, I think this is a sandwich or cookie cutter. Uh, I'm not much of a chef. In fact, I shouldn't be allowed anywhere near a cooker or an oven. But yeah, I think you press this down to make the TARDIS shape in your bread or cookies. Let's see what the card says. The TARDIS contains a food machine that can create any meal in the universe for you in snack bar form. But if you're unable to access such technology, this TARDIS shaped sandwich cutter will at least bring a Gallifreyan touch to your lunch. Brilliant. Well, I may not be much of a chef, but at least I'll have cool TARDIS shaped sandwiches. Door number eight. So, box number eight. And it's oblong shaped this one, so a different shaped box. What have we in here? Ooh, what's this? I would say it's a glasses case. Oh, well, that was. Oh, that's nice. And it's got all the doctors on there wearing glasses. So you've got the first doctor with his monocle look and the 12th doctor with the sonic shades, 13 with their welding specs, 10 with his 3D glasses, of course. It's a really nice idea, that. I'm not sure what the second doctor's wearing, some sort of cool hat and glasses combo, but yeah, it looks really good. It says, many doctors have donned memorable eyewear and this case features some of those styles. The 12th doctor loved his sonic shades didn't he just and the 10th doctor had 3d glasses for spotting void stuff and the 13th doctor has made use of goggles not to mention the first doctor who sported a monocle of course just so happens i recently got some new glasses as well so you just pop them in there pull the string keeps them nice and safe that's lovely inside number nine so what's inside box number nine it feels quite weighty actually could it be a figure or something oh no, it's something very flat and thin. Hmm, what is it? Oh, it could be a magnet, maybe. Yes, it is a magnet. Oh, that looked nice on the fridge with the 13th Doctor on it saying, don't worry, I've got a plan. The card says, this 13th Doctor fridge magnet will inspire you every time you dip into the fridge, which frankly, we all do rather a lot over the advent period. Ain't that the truth? Jodie Whittaker first appeared at the end of the 2017 Christmas special and then began full-time time lording on October 17th, 2018. 
So just need to make a bit of room on the fridge. Now, there we go. Perfect. Number 10, box number 10. It's another small little box, feels quite light. There's that lovely Gallifreyan wrapping paper. Gonna have loads of that by the end of this. Quite a thin little package. Ooh, oh, it's another badge, I think, yes. What have we got this time? Oh, Snowman. Let's shred that cellophane off so we can have a look at him. So, Snowman, and it says Pearl Finish. So I think this is a variant of the Snowman badge that they did that you can buy separately. That's really nice, actually. I love these guys. I think they look proper creepy with their big old teeth. So that's another nice badge. Let's see what the card says. The Snowmen first appeared in the episode called uh, The Snowmen, the Christmas special from 2012. They were under the control of the Great Intelligence and menaced London in 1892. They were stopped by the 11th Doctor and young governess Clara. So another nice badge, a nice variant of the snowman with this pearl finish. I really like it. Number 11 once again behind the envelope. So box number 11 and it feels quite weighty this one actually. So what have we got in here? Ooh, what's this? A bar of soap? No? Oh how cool! It's a pack of playing cards and it's all the doctors in the chibi style by the looks of it. So pick a card, any card. We've got Missy as the Joker card, which is nice. Then you go through them, you've got your regular cards until you get to the Jack and you get K9. Looks cool. Then you've got Sarah Jane in her Hand of Fear outfit and the King is the fourth Doctor. Then in the next set, obviously regular cards till you get to the Jack and you get Captain Jack, <laughs> Rose Tyler, the 10th Doctor, the big old heart, and in the next set, we've got ooh, Weeping Angel, looks good, Cybermen, the Daleks, and then in the final set, we have, it's Yaz, cards at Yaz's, uh, Graham, and the 13th Doctor, and the final card is Joker, and it's the Master, and it's the Sasha Master. I really like the box as well. So you've got the TARDIS on there and some of the other Doctors like Fluffy 5 and old 6s on the back peeking over there, look. 12th Doctor, yeah, it's really nice. Card says, this set of cards contains four suits, 4th Doctor, 10th Doctor, 13th Doctor and monsters. If you use them to play card tricks, let's hope your efforts are better than the 9th Doctor in Rose and the 11th Doctor in A Christmas Carol. Ooh. So anyone fancy a game of Snap? Number 12. So, box number 12, and it's quite a large box, this one. Quite light again. Ooh, something very flat. Could it be? Ooh, what's this? Oh, it's uh, one of those card holders, isn't it? So, what does it say? Titanic Starliner Travel Pass. So, obviously, that's a reference to the Voyage to the Dam. Yes, yeah, so you can keep your Oyster cards or whatever in there. And there's a picture of Max on the back. And the card says, inspired by the Christmas special from 2007 Voyage of the Damned. I quite like that one, actually. This classy travel pass holder will make you feel as if you can stroll on board the Titanic Starliner any time you like. Of course, that may not be a sensible option, so perhaps save it for your more earthly adventures. Hmm, sounds like good advice. This feels a lot thicker than the other Dot 2 card holders I've got. I think there's a nice thick layer of card in there. So a more premium card holder may be suited to somebody travelling in first class. Number 13, unlucky for some. So, box number 13, unlucky for some, they say. Quite a long box, this, and mm, quite weighty as well. And it is. Oh, what the heck is this? Oh, wow, that is so cool. So, it's a Weeping Angel bottle stopper. I really like the detail on it as well, that scary face and the wings, and it's really heavy. It's got some weight to it. Yeah, it's a really nice item. Don't blink. This stopper is a representation of a weeping angel and must be watched carefully. Known as the Lonely Assassins, these aliens consume potential life energy by sending victims back in time. Their first appearance was in Blink in 2007. I absolutely love it. I think it's got the potential to scare me though after a couple of bottles of wine. Don't drink. Door number 14. And box number 14 in another sizeable box. So what awaits us in here? Ooh, oh, it's the luggage tag, isn't it? Yes, that's nice. The TARDIS looks really good. There's a bit on the back for me to put my details in. Look, the Geek's handbag from somewhere in the middle of nowhere. 
Card says the TARDIS luggage tag will help you remember where you're going and where you've come from, so you don't end up at a random location, as the real TARDIS sometimes does. Yes, it's a nice tag, it's a good size, it's really thick as well, so it's good quality. The TARDIS looks really nice as well, so I do travel quite a lot, normally by aeroplane, I must admit, rather than TARDIS, but that's going to come in very handy. Blimey, we're starting to get through them now. Door number 15. It's box number 15, and whatever's in there isn't moving around at all. So, oh, it's keen to get out though, the lid's popped open. And it is, oh, it's socks. Who doesn't love getting socks for Christmas? And not just any old socks, they're Dalek socks. Yes, they look really nice, and I actually genuinely love getting socks for Christmas, so I shall definitely be wearing these. Exterminate the problem of having cold feet with these unique Dalek socks. The Daleks are the oldest foe the Doctor has, first appearing in the second ever serial in 1963. They have become a worldwide phenomenon, even making it into the dictionary. As they lack feet to enjoy them, these socks are sure to only increase their generally bad mood. I love it. And I shall wear them with pride. Oh, it's fallen upside down. Number 16. So, box number 16. Quite like this one. And we have... Ooh. Oh, we've got another badge. Who have we got this time? Oh, it's the 11th Doctor. So, cellophane off. Yes, it's the 11th Doctor in his big old top hat. This is the costume he wore in the Snowmen, isn't it? So, I've not seen this badge before. I assume it's another exclusive to this advent calendar. Looks really nice. Let's have a look at the card. So it says, this is the 11th Doctor Matt Smith as he appeared in The Snowmen, his third Christmas special. In suitable Victorian attire, he visited 1892 and defeated the Great Intelligence and some rather frosty snowmen, with the help of mysterious governess Clara. Matt's actually one of my favourite Doctors, and I really like the outfit he wore in The Snowmen, so it's a really nice badge to have. 17. Okay, box number 17, and actually this is probably the lightest box I've had so far, so what have we got in here? Ooh. Something very flat, and it is, oh it's a sticker of the fourth Doctor by the looks of it, yes, that looks nice. Card says, a quote from the fourth Doctor makes a suitable message for this laptop sticker. All right, the sentiment about computers being sophisticated idiots comes from Robot, Tom Baker's first adventure as the Doctor. The quote was broadcast on January 18th, 1975. Ah oh, right, I hadn't twigged it was a laptop sticker. Okay, so the quote says, the trouble with computers, of course, is that they're very sophisticated idiots. And that's from Robot, apparently, which is a great story. Number 18. Okay, box 18. Ooh, something rattling in here. What is awaiting for us inside? Oh, okay, it is. <gasps> what is this? <gasps> Oh wow, okay, that's really nice. A Dalek mutant bookmark. Card says, first seen in the Daleks 1963-64, this mutant creature lies at the heart of every Dalek. A notable character seen in this form is Dalek Khan. Ah, oh, Dalek Khan. From the cult of Skaro, who grew to realise his own race was evil and helped the Doctor defeat them. Feels like he's made of the same metal as the Dalek bottle opener. So yeah, it's a really nice item. Might be one of my favourite ones I've opened so far, actually. And I do read a lot of books, so it'll make a great page saver. And I've been looking forward to opening this one. It's door number 19. Door number 19. Yes, I've been intrigued by this ever since I opened the calendar. I'm guessing it's going to be some sort of art print or something. And it is. Oh, it's a uh, You Will Obey Me Emperor Dalek. The card says, this high quality print celebrates the 2020-21 multi-platform event Time Lord Victorious featuring multi-doctors in a new time war with their old enemy the Daleks. The artwork by Ryan Hughes features the iconic Emperor Dalek. You will obey. Yes, I actually really liked Time Lord Victorious. It came in for a bit of flack at the time, but I think it was a good story and I particularly liked the Emperor Dalek with his big old dome head. So that's a really nice print. Door number 20. And we're up to day 20, so a bit of a light box. What have we got in here? Ooh, I think it could be another badge. It is, oh, it's the 13th Doctor Goggle Variant. So, cellophane off, and there she is with a newly made sonic screwdriver. Again, this will be an exclusive to the Advent calendar. I don't think you'll be able to buy this separately. So that's a really nice variant of her to have. The card says this new badge features the 13th Doctor as she appeared in her first episode, The Woman Who Fell to Earth. Without Gallifrey and resources to fall back on, she forged her own sonic screwdriver in a workshop in Sheffield. 
So another nice badge, great detail with the little Sonic there. I really do love these chibi style badges. Oh, it's on its side, number 21. Day 21, and this box has actually got a bit of weight to it actually, so looking forward to seeing what we've got in here. Oh, the card's eager to get out. Oh, what the heck's this? Got two little parcels. Oh, I think I know actually. I think this might be the Sontara Egg Cup, and I've been really looking forward to getting to this door. Yes, I think it is. So, oh, it's sort of a porcelain. So there's his little legs, and then this must be the head. Oh, I'm going to be careful because I drop everything. I don't want to drop this. There we go. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. I absolutely love it. The card says, This egg cup is shaped like a Sontaran, the warrior race that first appeared in the third Doctor story, The Time Warrior. Great story. Robust and fearless, they will appreciate you shouting, Sonta ha as you crack their eggheads. Yes, I'll certainly do that. He's brilliant, I love his grumpy little face. And I've just noticed the wrapping paper is slightly different as well. What is this, some special Sontaran wrapping paper? Yeah, he's a great little egg cup. Again, probably one of my favorite items from the calendar so far. Sontaha! Well, down to our last three. Number 22. Door 22. Who or what awaits us inside here? Ooh, different shape, let's see. It's... <laughs> Oh yes, it's K9! Oh, it's a tree decoration. Now it really is Christmas. So this Christmas decoration features the Doctor's companion K9. The robot dog first appeared in the 1977 story The Invisible Enemy, starring the fourth Doctor. In various updated forms, K9 has been a favourite with fans ever since. I have to say, he really does look great. Some really nice detail on him. He's got a bit of weight to him as well. And regular viewers will know how much I love K9. So he'll definitely be going on the Christmas tree. Affirmative. Wowzers, just two left. So door number 23. So door number 23. Gosh, it's nearly Christmas Eve. What do we have awaiting us in here? Ooh, another quite flat parcel. And it is, oh, it's another badge. Who have we got this time? Oh, it's the Heavenly Host. So, another badge exclusive. This time we get the Heavenly Host from Voyage of the Damned, and he looks very nice. So, the Heavenly Host are from the Voyage of the Damned, the 2007 Christmas episode. Service robots on board the Titanic Starliner, they gave out useful information like, you are going to die. However, the Doctor did use them to fly up to the bridge of the plummeting ship, so he could save the day. So another nice badge to add to the collection, and it's the second item relating to the Voyage of the Dam special, which, as I said, I do like. So that goes really nicely with the travel card holder I got earlier. And finally, it's the big one. It's Christmas Eve, door number 24. And I love the fact we've got the TARDIS picture here with all the numbers on it, so you can put all the pieces back in the right place, just like a big jigsaw puzzle. So door 24, it's Christmas Eve and the biggest box of them all. So I'm quite excited to see what we've got in here. Ooh. Some sort of tin. What's this? Doctor Who episodic collection. Wow. And it's um, ice coasters. Gosh, these look nice. So we've got the Angels Take Manhattan. Blink. That looks really nice. Oh, wow. City of Death. I absolutely love that one. And the classic that is Genesis of the Daleks. And the final card says some of the greatest stories ever are celebrated in this coaster set. Genesis of the Daleks, City of Death, Blink, and The Angels Take Manhattan. The artwork included here is by Adrian Salmon, Robert Hack, and Brian Williamson. These coasters are really nice. I think they're made from metal. They've got like a cork backing on them, and I really love the designs. So, four lovely coasters and a really nice item for the last box in the calendar. So, a TARDIS full of Doctor Who goodies. The calendar is available from the Eagle Moss slash Hero Collector website and retails for £109.99. I really enjoyed unboxing this calendar and I was pleased with all the things that were waiting for me inside. It truly is a Christmas present fit for a Time Lord. So there you have it. It seems the TARDIS really is bigger on the inside and what a lovely item to have. If you'd like to get one, I've put a link in the description below. Anyway, that's nearly it from me. But before I go, I'd like to wish you all a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, do check out The Geek's Handbag on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. And don't forget, I also do a weekly Doctor Who podcast with Gary that goes every Friday called The Big Blue Box Podcast. So do give that a listen. But until the next time, take care of yourselves. Bye bye. Mm -hmm.